Purdue University is an international leader in innovation and technology transfer. Among those innovations is a greenhouse with an automated conveyor system that will help Purdue University researchers to test a wider variety of plant seeds under uniform conditions. Purdue researchers hope the greenhouse will help provide answers about ways to avoid a looming food crisis with the global population expected to grow to more than 9 billion by 2050. The automated greenhouse was the idea of Jan Jing, an assistant professor in Purdue's Department of Agricultural and Biological Engineering. You probably can experience in the same greenhouse room, actually the temperature and the lighting conditions are very different from location to another location. The plants growing at the different locations of the greenhouse are experiencing a huge uh, variance of the environmental conditions caused by the different lighting conditions, the sunshine, the shades, the fan, the cooling panel. Traditional greenhouses are full of microclimates because of inconsistent conditions. The temperature directly under a light can be much hotter than just a few feet away and considerably chillier than the temperature near a cooling panel. Air circulation varies throughout depending on where fans are located. Lighting conditions also vary. Those variables make it more difficult to find the best seeds. By moving plants steadily through these microclimates, researchers can ensure that each plant is exposed to similar conditions. We did the project at the same time within two greenhouses, one with a conveyor system another one without the conveyor system. Same seeds, same treatment at the same time. And then we use the same measurement to measure the canopy size, nitrogen and water between those two groups. According to the results, the new conveyor system is able to remove up to 90% of the variance among the plants growing in the same greenhouse. If the noise is gone, the signal shows up and we will be able to measure a lot of new signals in a much finer level, which we were never able to, to measure before. The robotic phenotyping system uses hyperspectral cameras to provide up to 10 terabytes of plant data per day. The scanner measures plant health, growth, traits, and other characteristics, giving researchers essential information about the genetic makeup of how a plant adapts and reacts to conditions and what factors influence crop performance. Jing and the other researchers have been building plant prediction models using the data gathered by the imaging system. Digital agriculture allows researchers to analyze data more efficiently to determine how different amounts of water and fertilizer affect seeds along with varying soil types. That helps speed up the process of selecting the best seeds through what is known as high throughput phenotyping systems. So we hope that with this kind of automatic and digital and uh, high throughput phenotyping system, this will help us to advance and speed up our breeding, uh, breeding pipelines to generate the next seeds and the next agricultural products earlier so we can generate more food to feed the whole world. To find more information about this and other Purdue technologies, visit prf.org/otc.